oh my, we had a life where we didn't have to fear. When Lydia moved into the Tower District, the year was 1946. We never locked our houses. We never locked our cars. Times have changed and fear has set in. Lydia is now 104, alone in the home where she raised her family. And she hasn't been able to sleep since Thursday, the night she heard a noise at the window. It was unusual noise, so I thought, well, I'd get up. Outside, she says there was someone looking in, a shadowy figure cutting through the screen. So she turned on the lights. It disappeared. He must have run away. You scared off a, a burglar. Yes, I, <laughs> I guess I did. And it wasn't a dream or in her head. Hours later, there was still evidence. The screen was sliced open, her fence was broken, and there were two big footprints in the flower bed. But Lydia didn't call police. I've heard where they are so busy and some little thing like this, they just have to skip it. I was upset. I'm mad. Connie Carlos lives next door, and she keeps an eye on Lydia as best she can. I always look out here every night. Yeah, you tell me when I leave my garage open, too. Yeah. <laughs> In all these years, seven decades to be exact, Lydia says this is the first time someone has tried to break in. Okay. Probably never happen again. I hope not. Uh-huh. You never know. Life in the Tower District, she says, isn't what it used to be. It's not. It's not going to get better. I know it. It isn't. But it's still home.